We're starting off, um, we're a couple of days away, this is April 17th, but we're a couple of days away from the beginning of Taurus season. So Taurus season begins on April 19th. April 19th, the sun enters the sign of Taurus. So I want to say happy birthday to all the Taurians, Taurus rising people. This is your solar return with the sun being in the sign of Taurus. Taurus, of course, your ruling planet is Venus. And Venus was retrograde over the last couple of days now or last couple of weeks, but now Venus is direct. So we're going to talk about that later on in the show also. So happy birthday to all my Taurus friends and families. I got a family full of Taurus people. My mother, the late Annalie, St. Annalie Pinkney, she was a Taurus, May 3rd. My two sisters, uh, Vanessa and Anna, they're April 29th, May 3rd, or May 2nd. And I'd like to say uh, happy birthday to my brother, Vincent, who was also born on May 17th, and a very good friend of mine, one of my favorite Taurus people, and that's Carol Paul in Brooklyn, New York. So it's Taurus season. Get ready to have a little bit of fun. Your ruling planet has just went direct. So Taurus people, thank you for tuning in, and happy birthday and happy solar return. Up next is April 2017 is the number five universal month. Five is the number of changes, and boy, have we had changes already from Trump dropping bombs on Syria and Afghanistan, and it's more to come. This is not over, but this is a five universal month, and it's the month of change, freedom and information. This is a number one universal year to get the five universal month. We add one for 2017, and then we add four for April. April is the fourth month, so one plus four equals five. So this is going to be a, a month of changes. One thing I want everybody to look forward to or watch out for is April 20th. We're going to talk about that. If we look in history, we see on April 20th, um, that was Hitler's birthday, the infamous Adolf Hitler. And there's a lot of stuff going down on April 20th. You know, parents, if you, if you got kids, if one day keep them home from school, keep them out of the school, because there's all these neo-Nazi radicals and skinheads and all kinds of crazy people that usually like to do their dirt on April 20th. So April 20th is a big day. Pluto is going to go retrograde that day. So I'm really concerned about April 20th. That's this Thursday. Keep your kids out of school. I know they can miss one day, but keep your kids out of school, be aware on the subways and trains and all that kind of stuff. Even in middle America and Utah and, you know, places like Columbine, we get all that crazy energy happening on, on April 20th around Hitler's birthday. The neo-Nazis start to come out. But if I had kids, and I used to keep my kid home, on April 20th, that's a big day. It's Hitler's birthday, and Pluto goes retrograde that day. Again, five. This is a five universal month, and we've already had the crazy stuff from Trump and him challenging North Korea. This, this, this oh, God. It's, it's going to get crazy for the remainder of April. So April is a five universal month. If you want to know how this month affects you from an astrology and numerology point of view, give me a call. Let's show him the number one more time. 212-757-1393 is the number to call for real astrology, real numerology, tailor-made just for you. Everybody should have an astrologer. Everybody has, for the most part, a mechanic, a beautician, a, a, a barber, or a personal chef. But have in 2017 your very own personal astrologer, someone to advise you where the planets are, what the planets are doing as they're related to you. The big thing that's going on right now is da 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 da, we got another Mercury retrograde. Mercury is retrograde. See, we're just coming off of Venus retrograde. In a couple of weeks, I talked about four planets that were surrounding the Earth that was retrograde at the same time. 
So we have Mercury retrograde. Hold it right there, control room. What we're looking at is a picture of Mercury. That's not an artist drawing, but that's an actual picture of Mercury. Mercury is retrograde or will be retrograde from April 9th to May 3rd. Just started retrograde um, a couple of weeks, about a week ago. April 9th to May 3rd, Mercury is retrograde. It's retrograde in the sign of Taurus currently. It's in the sign of Taurus. So it's in the first degrees or people who are born, let's say, April 20th, uh, April 21st, April 22nd, this retrograde is right on top of you. So Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Taurus. It's getting ready to retrograde back into the sign of Aries. And guess when that happens? That happens or will be happening on April 20th. April 20th is going to be a mean day. You know, keep your eyes open on April 20th. Now, some of the rules of Mercury retrograde, what's the uh, prefix of Mercury? It's re. Let's show them that one more time, control room. Let's show them those lower thirds one more time. Beware of Mercury retrograde, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is a cosmic timeout. The prefix of uh, retrograde is re, re. Any word that you can think of with re, redo, reexamine, Readjust, rethink, every and anything. You can move the chroma key a little bit more, control room. Readjust, you know, and it's crazy right through here. How many people have had all this crazy stuff happening to them during a Mercury retrograde? Show them that wine. Show that wine one more time. Grab the wine, keep calm. I like these mems. Grab the wine, keep calm. It's Mercury retrograde because Mercury retrograde is an optical illusion. It's things you're gonna see, things that you won't believe. Things that you won't believe during the Mercury retrograde. And it's a timeout, it's a cosmic adjustment. Don't start anything new, don't do anything new, just take your time. We got a lot of retrogrades. April 2017 is the month of the retrograde. So we got Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aries, falling back, excuse me, it's, it's starting in the sign of Taurus, and it's gonna fall back into the sign of Aries. See, if you got Aries rising sign, or sun sign in Aries, or abundance of planets in the sign of Aries, this is sort of kind of like judgment day coming up for you. A lot of things that you have to think about. We have Mercury making a conjunction to Uranus twice. So there's a lot of crazy, I'm telling you, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this with the threat of North Korea. By the way, North Korea is ruled by the sign of Virgo. Its leader, Kim Jong, I hope I'm saying his name right, Kim Jong Yu, Kim Jong Jong Yu, North Korea's leader is a Capricorn. So we got our Donald Trump, which is a Gemini, and we got Kim Jong Yu, who's a Capricorn. And they're going to, I hope not, set it off and bring this world into nuclear catastrophe. And again, this Mercury retrograde is going back into the sign of Aries. Aries is about war. Aries is about strife. Aries is about conflict and military action. So don't be surprised if, you know, some crazy stuff happens in South Korea. We're on red alert. We have to be on red alert with April 20th coming down the line. But still, all in all, we're gonna trust in the greater good of things, greater good of the world, and hope for divine intervention, and hopefully none of these crazy things happen on April 20th. But I'm just giving you the word. I don't wanna be a harbinger of bad news or anything, but get your stuff together from an astrology, numerology point of view. Don't be scared to call the show and talk to me. 212-757-1393 is the number to call for the latest astrology, numerology, news and information. Up next is what we're going to talk about is Venus. The planet Venus just went direct. Venus, after being retrograde uh, since March 4th, went direct in the sign of Pisces. So Venus was in the sign of Pisces. Venus went stationary direct. 
meaning it's starting to move forward. And so this should be some help to Taurus people, because Venus both co-rules both Taurus and the sign of Libra. So I know a lot of my Libra friends and family, they've been going through a lot of changes because the ruler of their sign has been retrograde. So it's slowly starting to creep forward. Venus will be back at full strength, or it's retracing its steps now. It's coming out of the shadow of its retrograde, meaning it's retracing all the steps that it has taken over the last four months. One call, my control room, it says, but I just want to tell you this, Venus is going stationary direct. It means it's moving forward. Now, Venus, check this out. Venus will not be back at full strength or come back to the place where its retrograde began on April, on March 4th, and, and that's going to occur on May 19th. So we still got a little bit away for Venus to catch up. And there's another picture from out of space that was taken from the Magellan spacecraft uh, uh, in the early 1990s. Um, that's the picture of Venus. One thing about Venus, on the planet Venus, Venus, the sun, rises in the west and sets in the east. And on the planet Earth, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Now, a day on Venus, a day on Venus is about 100 days of Earth time. So it takes Venus, you know, on Earth, we're a 24-hour rotation. On the planet Venus, it's 100 days to rotate around the Earth. So Venus is going direct now, so a lot of people can focus on money. Uh, if you're an artist, Venus rules arts and creativity and uh, creative things. It rules cosmetic, cosmetic surgery. So if a lot of you out there are thinking about having cosmetic surgery, now is the time to slowly let Venus get back to full strength. It was retrograde, meaning it was sort of kind of sick for a while. And Venus only retrogrades once every 20 months. So I hope everybody learned their lessons of love. Sometimes during a Venus retrograde, you meet your soulmate. You meet your twin flame, and it's an amazing thing. And sometimes on a Venus retrograde, you get money that's owed to you. So now Venus is direct. Now it's time to act on those things and just slowly wait, because we still got Mercury retrograde to deal with. We got Mercury retrograde to deal with. We got Saturn retrograde. We're going to talk about that. We got Jupiter that's retrograde. It's been retrograde ever since February uh, about February 6th, it goes direct. Jupiter's the ruler of Sagittarius in old school astrology. Jupiter rules Sagittarius and the sign of uh, Pisces. So let's be cool, let's be calm, let's talk astrology and numerology live from Money Making Manhattan in New York City. Caller, you're on live television with Z Starman on Astrology okay. Numerology Now. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from uh, Chelsea, New York. Okay, what's, um, what's your name? My name is Jonathan Grant L. Hey, Jonathan. What day is your birthday? 4-30-1984. 4-30-1984. And what's your question tonight, Jonathan? Well, uh, I, was, I, I usually see your um, material on YouTube. Um, I, was, uh, I thought you were going to bring up the natal chart and everything like that. <laughs> okay, we got Mercury retrograde going on, so we got some technical stuff going on. But if you tell me your sun, moon, and rising sign, maybe I can help you out. Uh, my sun sign is Taurus. Oh, my moon sign is Taurus. Wow. My, my ascendant is Libra. Libra. Wow. So you got the Venus factor going on with sun. Yes, but my, my Venus is actually uh, in a detriment in, uh, in the sign of uh, Aries. Venus is a sign of Aries. See, once again, one of the things, you've had a lot of lessons to learn about love, money, and finances. Uh, it's sort of kind of like a double whammy. The ruler of your ascendant, Libra, has been retrograde, and your sun and moon has also uh, been affected by Venus in the sign of Taurus, or Venus ruled by Taurus. Now, as I've said, one thing about Venus 
being in the sign of Libra, did you have any major breakups with people or you just got divorced or separated? Several times, um, but mostly due to, um, you know, love issues, like uh, you were saying. It's also about self-love as well that I've personally noticed. Uh, I, I was just going to get ready to say that. Now, Venus, before June gets here, Venus has been in the sign of Aries for at least three months now or at least yeah. two months. Venus has been in Aries uh, since February 3rd, and it, it, it stayed in Aries. Venus is in Aries, or Venus is in a sign for at least a month, but Venus has been in Aries from February 3rd to April 3rd. It yeah. retrograded back into the sign of Pisces. Now, on April 27th, Venus will be back into the sign of Aries until about, uh, until about June. So Venus before halfway through the year, Venus has spent about three months or 90 days in the sign of the sign of Aries. Your ruling planet or the uh, Venus in the sign of Aries has been in, in, in Aries at least for or two months. It's in Pisces now. A lot of Pisces people have feeling this retrograde. And now we sort of kind of have to wait until Venus gets back into the sign of Aries on April 27th. So a lot of Aries people, like you said, Venus is uh, in the sign of uh, Aries. When it's in Aries, it's debilitated or it's in its detriment, meaning it's not working right. It's like it's like Venus, Venus, planets are like people. When they go from place to place to place, they change. Venus is nice, kind, and loving, but when she's in the sign of Aries, it's rough. It's like walking down the strip. It's like uh, people yeah. are enticing her. Hey, baby, let's do this, let's do that. And they pick fights and they pick arguments. So Venus being in the sign of Aries from, April, from February 3rd to April 3rd, it's been there two months, went back into the sign of Pisces, where she's exalted, where she works best, but also look forward to Venus coming back into the sign of Aries on April 27th. Again, like I said, there are things about love, money, finances, relationships, all kinds of business. You gotta get your Venus in order. Do you do anything in the performing arts? No, <laughs> I, I, you would assume that, but um, no, I'm actually a dispatcher. Okay. Um, ironically, um, due to um, a lot of indecisive um, uh, visit um, career plans. Okay. And things going up like that, but right now I'm just a dispatcher. Well, what? Has nothing to do with the the tenth my um tenth house, which is in Cancer. I, I don't know how that's you know. So you got Libra, but the, but the big thing that you have to focus on with this Pluto retrograde, because Pluto is getting ready to go retrograde, and I don't have your chart in front of you, but Pluto is at the bottom of your chart. It's in the fourth house. And sometimes the fourth house represents women. There are things and changes and, and, and relationship issues that you have with your women, the women in your family, but it also means the end of life at times too. And, not, and I'm not necessarily talking about physical transitions, but you have to, with all this Venus and Aries action, Pluto being in the bottom of your chart, um, you got Libra rising, so Uranus is in the seventh house, Uranus is in the Aries. So you need, or should start to, to uh, think about a whole new makeover for yourself. There's a lot of dead weight and dead skin that you got to shed. Now, from a numerology point of view, this is an eight personal year. This is a number eight personal year. We take your birthday, April 30th, and we add the number 10. 2017 is a number one year, but just to make it easier to do the math, four plus three is seven, plus 10 for 2017, it equals uh, 17. And one plus seven is eight. So. This is a number eight personal year. And some of the other birthdays that have eight personal years is June 1st, June 10th, um, May 2nd, or excuse me, um, um, May, uh, May 5th, uh, or excuse me, uh, February 5th, May 2nd, 
All these other birthdays, there are about uh, 35 birthdays that are having eight personal years. Through all the struggles, Jonathan, that you've gone through over the last couple of years, now things are starting to wash the shore. Pick up on those benefits. I think that you need to work for yourself. Maybe you want to get your own fleet of cars or maybe partner with uh, uh, car uh, driving services. You got Uber, you got Lyft, you got all these, drive me, this, that, and the other. So I think it would probably be better for you to start working for yourself in 2017 because it is a number eight personal year. The name of the show is Astrology Numerology Now. James, I got to go because we're about to run out of time, okay? All right. I hope I was helpful. No problem. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put up my number and I want you to call me after the show. Thank you, James. Now, if you want to get in, talk, uh, in contact with me and talk astrology and numerology, get a personal reading, let's put up the number control room. Let's show them how to get in touch with me. You can call me at 646-389-1311, 646-389-1311. I'm also on Facebook under Z Starman. I'm under Twitter as Z Starman. I'm on Instagram as Z Starman. But the fastest and the best way to get in contact with me is to give me a phone call, 646-389-1311. Now, we got a couple of minutes left in the show, and I just want to go over this, these other things that uh, are going on from astrology and numerology. I think we're in camera two control room. Thank you. I'm just going to go some other things from an astrology and numerology point of view. Venus is in sign of Pisces right now. And Venus is in, it's in Pisces, so sort of kind of like a last chance opportunity for a lot of Pisces people. It's sort of going to be challenging. Uh, Venus in the Pisces, in the sign of Pisces, helps out other water signs like Aries, excuse me, like Scorpio, like uh, Cancer. So Venus, it retrograded back into the sign of Pisces, and it's going to be in the sign of Pisces from April 2nd to April 28th. Up next, and this is the date I'm talking about, Pluto retrograde. Pluto, there's a picture of Pluto. Uh, spacecraft last year got really close to Pluto. It took about 10 years for it to get there. Pluto is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. So we got Saturn retrograde, we got Pluto retrograde. Pluto is about total transformation. And this world is going to be changing a lot. Pluto is retrograde. Let's show them that again in the control room. Pluto is retrograde from April 20th to September 25th, 2017. So governments, Capricorn rules governments. So all these governments are about to fall and changes from, from the Middle East, you know. I don't want to predict, predict doom and gloom, but this is getting ready to happen. Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn in the United States. So uh, the United States is about to have its solar return. Turn the music down, Control Rudin. Thank you. Now, we got a couple more minutes, but I just I got to get out this information. And again, one last time, Saturn is retrograde. Saturn is retrograde in the sign of Sagittarius. Saturn will be retrograde from April 5th to August 25th. 2017, there's a lot of period of adjustments for Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius people, you may feel that you got the weight of the world on your shoulder, but hold on. Hold on, Sagittarius. We're about to run out of time. I want to thank everyone out there for watching Astrology Numerology Now. I'm your host, Z Starman. Keep your eyes open during this Mercury retrograde. Keep your eyes open on April 20th. Don't be surprised if you hear some drama on April 20th. This is Z Starman. Give me a call. I'm wishing you peace, love, light, namaste.